Today our topic is solving and writing one and two step equations. So our learning target is how can I write and solve one step and two step problems. Vocabulary slash review. We have isolate, which means to get the variable by itself. We want the variable to have no friends. And remember that your variable is a letter, which we usually use x, but it can change. It can be different. Inverse is operations that undo each other. We also call these opposites. So the inverse or opposite of subtraction is addition because they undo each other. And the inverse or opposite of division is multiplication. Circle that, star that. Um, and it's because, again, they undo each other. And what this means is that it just gets you back to your starting point. So if I start with the number 10 and I divide 10 by 2, we get to 5. Now, the opposite of dividing by 2 is multiplying by 2. So if I take that answer and I multiply it back to 2, we get back to 10, that starting point. So if you divide by a number and then multiply by that same number, you get yourself back to where you started. That's what undo means. Solving one-step equations. You guys should have worked on this at the beginning of, at the end of last year, excuse me. And we just want to undo the operation. So we have to identify the operation, draw those railroad tracks. Right now we have minus 17. How do we undo minus 17? Well, we undo it with the opposite, which would be plus 17. So we add 17 to both sides. We get y equals 86 plus 17 is 103. Next problem. Now, if you look at this problem, it's a little bit different. Our variable is on the right-hand side of the equation. It's over here. If that bothers you, you can flip the equation around. You can start by doing d plus 3.4 equals 8.7. We can rewrite the equation, flip the sides, and get started there. That is always allowed. You can flip the sides of the equation. You can put the left side on the right and the right side on the left. Now we have plus 34, so we need to undo that with a minus 3.4 on both sides. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. 3.4 minus 3.4 makes 0, so we're left with our variable d equals 8.7 minus 3.4 would be 5.3. Last example. Again, our variable is on the opposite side, so if you want to start by flipping that around, all we do is just change the sides of the equation. We just flip around the equal sign. Now, a fraction bar means divide. So right here we have division. Opposite of division is multiplication, so we're going to multiply the right side and the left side by 5. The 5's cancel out, leaving us with our variable x. And 11 times 5 is 55. So that would be our final answer. All right, now that we've talked about one step, we want to talk about two steps. So solving a two-step equation, we're going to follow along with our example here. First off, we want to find the variable. Our variable is right here. We always want to work on the side with the variable. So again, if you like your variable on the left-hand side, you can always flip around your equation if needed. Our second step is to undo addition and subtraction. So we want to find the addition and subtraction in the problem, which right here is plus 3. We want to undo that first. So the opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. So we're going to do minus 3 on both sides. The 3's cancel out over here, which leaves us with our 15x equals 48 minus 3 is 45. 
All right, so that was the undo addition and subtraction step. Then our third step is undo multiplication and division. So we find the multiplication or division, which is right here. 15x means 15 times x. To undo that, we have to divide both sides by 15. The 15s cancel out. We are left with just the x there. Equals 45 divided by 15 is 3. So x equals 3. Now we're just going to practice this. We want to put this into practice. 3x minus 50 equals negative 47. Find your variable. It's right there. Draw your railroad tracks. All right, undo addition and subtraction. First we find the subtraction with on the side of the variable. We have minus 50. Undo that minus 50 with a plus 50 on both sides. 50s cancel each other out. We bring down the 3x equals negative 47 plus 50. That is 3. This is why we talked about adding and subtracting integers last unit. If you need a calculator, please feel free to use one. Last step, undo multiplication and division. We have multiplication here. We want to undo that with division. So we divide by the number next to the variable. We're dividing by 3. Threes cancel each other out. We're left with x equals 3 divided by 3 is 1. All right, next example. We have negative 6 equals t divided by 4 minus 10. Find your variable. It's right there. If you don't like it on that side of the equation, let's rewrite it. All we do is flip the sides, flip around that equal sign. Draw your railroad track. Undo addition and subtraction. We have minus 10, so we need to undo that with a plus 10 on both sides. 10s cancel each other out. We bring down the t divided by 4 equals negative 6 plus 10 is 4. Last step, undo that division with multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by 4. 4s cross each other off. We get t equals 4 times 4, which is 16. If you flip over to the back of your paper, you'll find the next two examples for us to do. We have 5.4 minus x equals 17.7. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, but we, we don't want to make it tricky. So, remember subtraction? We want to change that to adding the opposite. So, we have 5.4 plus negative x. If there's never a number there, it's always a 1. So this is really negative 1x equals 17.7. Now, if we think back to our previous examples, we always had the variable first and the operation second. So we always saw this piece first and this piece second. Well, based on our commutative property, we are allowed to flip-flop these two. So let's flip-flop those two. We have negative 1x plus 5.4 equals 17.7. Now that we have it in the proper order, we can solve it. So we draw our railroad tracks. Find your addition piece. We're adding 5.4, so we want to undo that with minus 5.4 on both sides of the equation. Cancel that piece out. Bring down the negative 1x equals 17.7 minus 5.4 is 12.3. undo the multiplication with division. So we divide both sides by negative 1. Here it's a negative 1, so we divide it by a negative 1. That cancels out. We're left with x equals 12.3 divided by negative 1 is going to be negative 12.3 integer operations. All right. Next example, we have x divided by 3 minus 14.4 equals 5.9. Draw those railroad tracks. We got our variable right there. We want to undo the minus 14.4 first with a plus 14.4 on both sides. The 14.4s cancel each other out. We get x divided by 3 equals 5.9 plus 14.4 would be 20.3. 
Last piece, undo this division with multiplication. We're going to multiply both sides by 3. Threes cancel each other out. We have x equals 20.3 times 3, which is 60.9. All right, now I know there are two more examples, but I don't want this video to be too long. So if you would like to try the challenge examples on your own and bring them back to class, if you get them right and you show all of your work, you might receive a candy prize. All right, but no Googling it. You have to try it on your own and you have to show all your work. That's all the notes I have for you today. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel.